The secondary circuit. In our schematic drawing of the truck slash tractor air brake system, the secondary or front axle service brake circuit is colored red. This circuit begins at the secondary service reservoir or tank. The air line comes out of the secondary service tank and moves up to a branch. In one direction, the air goes to the system's trailer control valve. By pulling the spike on this valve, the operator can send air to the service brakes on an attached trailer. Air sent up the other side of the branch runs to the treadle valve. Note, the secondary supply intake port on the treadle valve is located furthest from the mechanical actuator. During operation of the treadle valve, air from the primary circuit is used to control the secondary portion of the valve. When the operator pushes down on the treadle valve, air is sent out to the ratio valve and from there to a quick release valve. The quick release valve has two purposes. It provides a quick release of air pressure when the operator lets the brakes off. Secondly, it acts as a T in the line, sending air to both of the front brake chambers. The operator pressing the treadle valve also sends air out to a double check valve. When the trailer supply valve on the dash in the cab is open, it holds the tractor protection service valve port open. This allows the treadle valve to be used to apply the service brakes on an attached trailer. Also branching from the line to the double check valve is a signal line running to a spring brake valve. That signals the spring brake valve in the event of an emergency situation.